Hi guys. So today, this is the outfit for today. Alright. Step back. I got my yellow tennis shoes, Basque tennis shoes, blue denim jeans. I got a black jeans button down shirt and a corduroy jacket. And that's all I wore today. Happy Valentine's Day, by the way. Now, I didn't wear a watch today. Uh, I didn't wear sunglasses. You know, typically, you know, I decked out. I look. I, I put. Uh, young people say swag. You know, but I was just exhausted with uh, the whole fashion dressing up everyday thing and you know i would so much rather be in my g my t-shirt and my uh sweatpants and my flip-flops i could just grab my keys put that stuff on head down the road don't have to waste waste any extra time picking out clothes ironing clothes and putting them on and going out but um you know I make myself do it a lot of the times um, be, for instance if I'm going to take one of my kids to school I would make myself put on the clothes dress nice take them to school come back home take them off get back in my regular stuff um, but I make myself do it because I'm relearning a habit of actually looking presentable at least what I would consider presentable to go outside, even though I thought I looked presentable when I was going outside in my jeans, I mean my jeans, my t-shirt and my uh, sweatpants and my flip-flops, you know, I was presentable, but, you know, now I'm looking looking really nice in these clothes. So, um, and it's not because I want to look nice. Yeah, I want to look nice, but it's not, I'm not dressing to look nice. I'm dressing because it gives me motivation to stay healthy. And that's the real key to this and that's why I'm making myself learn learn this habit again or because when I was younger I used to dress nice um, obviously I've evolved from that how I used to dress then to how I dress now because you know we dress with baggy clothes when we were you know I'm 43 so my generation tend to wear baggy jeans baggy shirts and back you know everything baggy nothing too fitted Right, so um, the only time I wore fitted clothes when I was in the Marine Corps, um, and that's where I first really learned about fitted clothes. But even them clothes were baggy to, for the most part, except for the you know the, the waist and you know how the clothes fit on the waist, you know. Um, but overall, it was baggy everything. So now my style has evolved now that I've re-entered into that fashion world I guess my mom used to be a dressmaker and designer so I grew up around fashion and um, I've made a few outfits myself you know from scratch and I just finished fixing the sewing machine uh, one of the kids want is learning straight stitch so she's doing that making these these um, like arts and crafts stuff I'm not really getting involved with it um, once my mom retires, me, she and I will be, go, we'll be hitting the fashion stuff again in a major way. But until then, you know, this dressing up, even though it's, uh, it's a chore to me, it's a chore now because I'm relearning the habits of looking uh, what would be considered fashionable or presentable when I go out. And I, although I get positive looks and po a lot of positive comments, it's really not the mot my motivation. My motivation is staying healthy. Uh, in the morning I get dressed, I go, I go to work for a couple of hours. I come home, I take my stuff off. In the evening when I get ready to go to, to the boxing program, I put the same outfit on for that day, go to the boxing program. Uh, I am finding like when I dress to go to the gym, even though I am able to function because I dress casually for the most part, um, it can be a little restricting. It doesn't prevent me from doing what I need to do because I simply take off one of the jackets, 
because I'm wearing regular clothes like this. I could take keep this on, take my jacket off, put the mitts on, and work the mitts with with uh, my athletes, and I'll be great. Um, so it's not really highly restrictive, but like doing things like showing techniques for exercising, I'm noticing that to be a little bit of a challenge depending on the type of jeans I wear. If I wear the stretchy jeans, which I'm also finding to be uh, really nice, the new jeans with the spandex woven in, they flex and they stretch. It's almost like wearing sweat, like sweatpants. They're really comfortable to wear. I mean, and I'm wearing them fitted, not, not spandex fitted, but you know, like this, this, this slim cut. And I would bend that, especially when I wear the biker jeans. When I squat in those or anything in those, they, they, it's con just real comfortable to wear. So I am starting to appreciate, you know, being a coach that looks stylish and can still coach. Um, but I am enjoying more uh, the fact that I am staying healthy. I eat right. I've been eating right for the past two, two and a half months. Ever since I start dressing nicely and eating uh, appropriately at the same time and exercising. So I've lost about 14 pounds last time I checked and I'm down two inches on my waist and you know I'm progressing I can see the, the progress I'm sleeping better at night I'm not feeling I'm not waking up with acid reflux anymore and the fashion is really what um, seems to be the main source of the motivation to stay stay in shape and stay healthy to give actually give a damn about how I look you know it's, it's actually motivating me to to give a damn about how I feel. I did give a damn about how I feel, but like now it's a whole different ball game. I highly doubt that if I drop, if I continue doing the fashion, I, I will go back to living uh, or eating or living an unhealthy lifestyle. I think for me, despite it's a chore to, to dress up right this moment, um, I think for me it's gonna stick. Um, as long as I stay dressing nicely, I will stay wanting to look good in the clothes that I wear because I'm not spending all this money. And to me, spending this less it's less than a thousand dollars on a wardrobe, but to me that's a lot of money. I could put that in the stock market, but I'm spending it on the clothes, and uh, I want to look good in it, and I want to see progress. I don't want it to look good now. I want to look good even better um, as I, you know, as I progress in this. So, if you have any questions, ask it in the comment section down below. Um, you know, like and subscribe, just in case if I didn't mention that. And you know, I am doing a lot of thrifting. I go to a lot of thrift stores now, and it gives me an opportunity to dress in the clothes that I actually bought at these thrift stores and walk into these places and look like I never bought these clothes there. You know, so it's a fascinating thing for me because I always get uh, some attention there too. So, um, if you all don't have, if you all have questions again, ask it in the comment section down below. If you guys are exhausted with your fashion and you think it's a chore, put it in the comments down below. Those of you who have overcome your uh, the exhaustion of dressing up and it's now like a second nature to you, put your ideas in the comment section down below so I can learn something from it or be motivated by that or see things from a different perspective so I too can get through this. But I think I will get through this because the benefit, my health is so much, uh, such a benefit that dressing up and buying clothes, even though I'm buying secondhand clothes and vintage and what, what, whatever you call it, it's motivating me. And I think I'll, ne I'll probably never go back to shopping like in the regular store as much because thrift shopping, you find some unique things 
that you typically won't find that people just donate that they probably got in a specialty store and now it's mine <laughs> so you guys have a good night